second. All right. All right. Well, in the meantime, let's pass it over because I know, Kelso, you have uh, some topics that flowed nicely. Kendrick Lamar is one of them, right? We were talking a little bit about before the show about his performance and, and his preference on performances these days to not do anything with a pimp and butterfly. Yeah. Did you hear that? Uh, no, I did not. Yeah, he said he does not want to perform it because it was a period piece for him. And he, he doesn't want to go and rehash those feelings. Yes, he, oh. he, it was, it was exactly. very at the moment, and he wants it to live in that moment, but now he's going to go back to what people love in Good Kid, Mad City, uh, and yeah, some of his early mixtapes. Yeah, definitely. And and uh, to put the butterfly was actually named uh, the number one album by Rolling Stone. Number one, uh, Adele twenty five was number two, and uh, Drake. Uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. Was number three. <laughs> Aside from Adele, I can't argue. Okay, I mean, I would right. put Drake number one, but Can Kendrick number two. Uh, I would probably still have Kendrick at number one, but I'd probably put Drake at number two and then Adele at number three. All right. Well, you're number one on our list, Kelso, when it comes oh. to the lowdown. Do you have that code? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah, us the code, right. and then we're going to get into the lowdown, because that's the code of the streets. It is. I've had to It's the code of the streets to stay elite. All right, so... Well, first, I wanted to just kind of ask Mallory a couple questions, like how she got involved in Free Press and um, who she wants to see next year at Day for Night, you know, who, 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 um, on her top ten charts or on the top ten charts. Next year? We'll get to next year next year. Let's, yeah, but let's I, I, I just want to know because I want to see kind of like, like, I mean, you never know the power of influence. She could be bringing in some to the hot artists next year, you know? Why well, don't one artist that you're going to bring in May? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Um, Science. Shout out to Science in New York. Uh, I was a big fan of his. I still am. Uh, he it decided to put me on his tour date. I'm trying to lock it in right now, find a venue, and uh, get some New York feels out here. Excellent. Hey, uh, Excellent. Uh, so, talk a little bit about, uh, Kelso, what you got going but, uh, on in the lowdown. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so, first things first, I just want to kind of touch base with uh, Drake opening his OVO um, flagship store in L.A. And it's going to be right next to... <laughs> the Grizzly Store. The Grizzly Store. I love what that. What an awesome little... I, I, I would be so dope if they could do a couple collabs, like OVO and Grizzly. And Elite. Italy, Italy. You see the shirt we're going on tonight? I almost want to share it. You got to come to our business hours and not after the dog in the trap, girl. All right, so before Before the festival, you will have your sweater. I promise you. Thank you. Um, And so moving on, there is um, lots and lots of talk about Long Live the Pimp, um, the uh, album that's being released almost four years since the last um, from uh, yeah. you know, see, R. Yeah. and um, his sons Corey and uh, Chad Butler Jr. are asking people not to support their album uh, this album um, Crazy. Uh, it's 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 so insane to me his, uh, you know 